Hello, my friends. It is now Wednesday, the fifth week of Lent, and the title for our devotion today is For Such a Time as This. And I know that some of you know exactly the area of scripture that we're going to be heading to for our scripture reading today, and you are right. We're going to take our Bibles and we're going to open them up to Esther 4 so that we can read verses 13 and 14 together. Now, for those of you who have spent any amount of time with me in God's Word in the last... 15 years, you will know that I think a lot of Queen Esther and especially the book of Esther and all that God teaches us in that book of his Bible. Um, I love Esther and I love studying this book so, so, so much. So I'm really excited that today we get to look at a few verses together. Again, the title is For Such a Time as This, and we're going to be in Esther 4, so that we can read 13 and 14. I am all set. If you want to press pause on your end so that you can read this along with me, that is awesome. If you'd just like me to read this for us today, that is also awesome. I'll do that right now. Esther 4, 13 and 14 says this. Then Mordecai told them to reply to Esther, Do not think to yourself that in the king's palace you will escape any more than all the other Jews. For if you keep silent at this time, relief and deliverance will rise for the Jews from another place. But you and your father's house will perish. And who knows whether you have not come to the kingdom for such a time as this. Do you know the Old Testament story of Queen Esther? Esther lived in a foreign country called Babylon, where her people, the Jews, were slaves. When the king of Babylon married beautiful Esther, she became queen. An evil man named Haman tricked the king into passing a law that would mean death for many Jews. It seemed that Esther was the only one who could persuade the king to save the Jews. Yet Esther was afraid that by speaking out, she might anger the king and also be sentenced to die. Then Esther's uncle Mordecai encouraged her with these words, and who knows whether you have not come to the kingdom for such a time as this. Mordecai was suggesting that perhaps God had made Esther queen so that she could save her people. The story has a happy ending. God gave Esther courage to go before the king who had mercy on God's people. In the end, it was evil Haman who was put to death. Like the Jews in Esther's time, we also have been given a death sentence. Because of our sin, we are guilty before God, our king, of breaking his laws. We deserve eternal punishment. But rejoice, friends, because God has provided a happy ending for our story too. In his great love, God sent his son into the world for such a time as this. Jesus lived a perfect life in our place and died on the cross to save us from our sins. Because of Jesus, we have been granted forgiveness and are now his royal sons and daughters. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, forgive us when we don't think that the work we do every day is important. Use us, O oh Lord, to help others in your name for such a time as this. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. That's right, friends. God did not make a mistake by deciding right now is the time that you would be alive, that right now you would be 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 16, 25, 31, 41. Oh my goodness. And so on and so on. God knows exactly when and why he placed you exactly where he did. And he has big plans for you mm -hmm. for such a time as this. I love you so much and I'll meet you back here tomorrow. Bye.